Wow. Hey, that's so cool. Oh, oops. Hello, everyone. I see that you have caught me reading the newspaper again. Well, that doesn't matter because I am super excited to share what's happening around the world with you. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. In our first segment, What's Trending World, I have a piece of really interesting news for you that I'm sure will take your breath away. So, what am I talking about? Let's explore this together. To everyone's delight, the world witnessed June's full moon known as the Strawberry Supermoon on June 14th at 5.22 p.m. Indian Standard Time. But what is the supermoon and what is so super about it? So, the distance between the moon and the earth makes the supermoon super. Yes, you heard me right. The supermoon is a full moon that occurs when the moon is at perigee. That is, when the moon comes closest to the earth in its elliptical orbit. According to NASA, at the perigee, the moon is at an average distance of about 3,63,300 kilometers from the earth. And it appears about 17% bigger and 30% brighter than the faintest moon of the year when it is furthest from the earth in its orbit. So, what do you think? Does this supermoon occur often? Well, supermoons are relatively rare, happening three to four times a year and always consecutively. So, now you know what makes the supermoon special. But, have you ever wondered why it is called a strawberry supermoon? Is it because it looks like a strawberry? Yummy! I love strawberries. <laughs> but, sorry to disappoint you, sadly that is not the case. The name Strawberry Supermoon was actually given by Native Americans as it signals the time to gather ripening strawberries. And the strawberry moon appears in reddish or rose color mainly because it rises above the horizon and gets the color of the rising sun. It's quite fascinating, right? Also, this phenomenon is known by different names in different places around the world. Some other names for this full moon are Rose Moon and Honey Moon. And the names do not end here. The Buddhists call it Poson Poya because of the Poson holiday in Sri Lanka. The day is celebrated to commemorate the foundation of Buddhism in 236 BCE. Now, are you wondering what we call it in India? Well, it is called Vartha Purnima. And that day is celebrated by the Hindus where married women tie a ceremonial thread around a banyan tree and fast for the long uh, lives of their spouses. Isn't that super interesting? Well, now that we know what a strawberry supermoon is, tell me, how can we get to see this? Well, the ideal time to spot the strawberry supermoon is when it is rising or setting. That is when it will appear the largest to the naked eye. So to view it clearly, people usually go to areas with clear horizons and avoid areas with tall buildings and thick forests. And with that comes our final segment, knowledge check. Now, in this segment, I will be asking you a question that I am sure will make you think very hard. So here is your question. What is it called when the moon is furthest from the earth? I can't wait to see your answers in the comment section below. And please do stay updated with our Baijus Current Affairs series. And always remember, be hashtag Smart. See you.